Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about SQL joins. So what are joins? So uh, up until now, whenever we were interacting with the database, the interaction was mostly with a single table. But there are certain scenarios where we need to get data from multiple tables. In that scenario, joins come in handy. Okay. So in this video, we are going to cover joins and their types. So there are four kinds of join. The first one is inner join, then left join, right join and full join. We are going to take an example to understand each one of them. So let's start. So if you can see, we have our phpMyAdmin on our desktop. And I have got two tables in my database. One of them is city and the second one of them is country. Okay. So the first table country has three entries. The first one is India, then USA and Pakistan. And you can see it has two columns, country ID and country name. Likewise, when we go to the city table, we have three columns by the name of city ID, country ID and city name. And we have got some entries over it. You can easily see that that city has been mapped using the country codes that is country ID. So if the country ID for India is one, when you go back and you see that New Delhi and Kolkata as well as Mumbai are cities in India. Hence, the country code for these entries are 1 and New York is a city in US and hence the country code is 2. So when you go back in this particular table, you can easily see that USA has a country code of 2. But Pakistan with a country code of 3 has got 0 entries in our city table. So now what I want is I want to run a joint uh, SQL query which will fetch me data from both the tables. Okay. So the first join that we are going to do is inner join or the normal join. So you have to go to your country table. You have to click on this SQL tab and over here we are going to write our query. So I'm just increasing the font so that you can see clearly what I'm going to write. So the query would be select star from the table name that is country then you would change the line and you will write join the second table that you want to join which is city third on now you have to provide the particular column on which you are going to join those two tables so if you know if you have seen the two common uh, columns were country ID which were present in both the tables. So now you are going to join it on city dot country ID is equal to country dot country ID. Okay. And this join means that this is inner join. So basically, if I write this or only join, both are treated to be same. So now this is a query where we have joined two tables on a column, common column. So let's try and run this code by clicking on go. And you can see now we have got four columns, four rows. Okay. India, New Delhi. India, Kolkata, USA, New York, India and Mumbai. So now you can see that inner join gives you only the common elements. Okay. And not anything else. So if we go back to our diagram, we can see the inner join gives you just the intersection part. Okay. Now let's go back. And now let's write a left join. So a left join will do what? It will give me all the data from the left table and it will join the tables. Okay. So I'm just copying this entire thing again, again clicking on SQL and paste and just replace inner join with left join. Now, how do you know that which country or, or rather which table is left? So Going from this side, you can see country comes first. Hence, this is the left table. So all the data from this table will be displayed and uh, 
not from the other table around okay so now if i click on go you can see even pa pakistan is in the table but as pakistan has no city mentioned in uh, this particular uh, table city hence all the values are null so this is what we call a left join okay now let's understand what is a right join but before understanding right join what we have to do is we have to quickly insert one city corresponding to which no country is available in our um, uh, let's say country table okay so let's say uh, the country id is 7 which is non existent and the city's name is colombo which is in sri lanka okay so if you click on go now we have five entries okay we can click on browse and you can see we have got the fifth city that is colombo then the country id for that is 7 okay so now if i go over here and i just copy this entire code again control c sql and I'll just paste it over here, control V. And now instead of using left, if I write right join, and if I click on go, this is what will happen. We have got India, 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 and USA, no Pakistan, and we have got Colombo, okay, which has got no entry from the country table. Okay, so this is how right join works. So now let's understand the fourth join, that is the full outer join. So this full outer join will give all the tables from both the uh, all the data from both the tables irrespective of the condition okay so now unfortunately in mysql uh, there is no support for uh, full outer join so instead what we can do is we can create two statements one for the left join and one for the right join and we can do the union operation on that okay like this and just replace this with right join right join okay so now we are basically doing the union of both the operations and when we click on go you will see that we have got all the rows from both the tables we have got pakistan as well as colombo okay so this is how you write joins and trust me guys joins are really really important because in most of the scenarios the case is that that you have to fetch data from multiple tables and not only only not only from two tables in fact you have to fetch data from maybe four or five tables okay so uh, that was it for today we'll meet in the next video thank you